Bagamans means a lot. So you can be like, there's bagamans of people in here. <laughs> Who says this shit? Hey Vanity Fair, this is Amory and I'm gonna teach you some British slang. Skive off. This means like skipping school on the sly. I used to do it all the time. <laughs> tosh. Tosh means like rubbish or like nonsense. So you'd be like, what a load of tosh. Kerfuffle. This is like when you're just like up in the air and you don't really know what's going on. You're like, oh, what a kerfuffle. Oh, you don't, I don't really know. What a kerfuffle. It's like a mess, basically. Barney, ugh, the name of my ex. <laughs> Barney, like you're having a fight. So let's have a Barney then. They're having a proper Barney over there. Chanda is vomit. You know, that person over there has just done a massive chanda. I am going to chanda my breakfast up. Minga means like ugly, basically. So you'd be like, oh, they're fit, but a bit of a minga. <laughs> Bagsy. Bagsy, you can kind of use if someone's giving out cakes and you want the chocolate one, which is always me, and you say, Bagsy, the chocolate one. Chinwag. This is like a nice little chat with your best friend on the phone. Oh, I just had a chinwag with uh, Claire for like five hours. Doddle means like when something's easy, like it was easy to do, like, oh, that was a proper doddle. Like all I had to do was down five drinks in one minute. That was doddle. Spend a penny. So this is a polite way of saying I'm gonna use the No, <laughs> just... You know, you want to go to the toilet and you're out with your friends and you there are some people that you don't know and you want to go and spend a penny instead of the other way. Pop your clog means dying, basically, yeah. They've, you're talking about your old great-grandma. She's popped her clogs. Oh, it sounds better than dying, though, doesn't it? Gym jams is your pyjamas. Go and put your gym jams on. It's time for bed. Kip. You can use that for anything if you're, if you're saying you want to go to sleep now or if you want to take a little nap or anything like that, I'm going to have a little kip. Shirty. I, I use it in a way that's like someone's being a bit like dodgy. Like if they're like moving a bit mad. I say, uh, they're being a bit shirty, those guys. Over there, let's f run away. Yonks. So this is a long period of time. So if you say, oh, what, my friend Nicola, I've known her for yonks. Uncle Ned, Cockney rhyming slang, one of my most favourite things ever. If you ever get a chance, go on Google and search Cockney rhyming slang. This means bed, so I'm going to go to Uncle Ned, which actually sounds really weird. Toff means a posh person, so the opposite of me. <laughs> if you're, like, speaking about someone who's quite posh, you say, oh, they're right, Toff gobsmacked when you're super surprised by something or you're shocked by someone and you just say, I am totally gobsmacked by that. Knees up. Jeez. Knees up is when you have a right old drink with your friends and you just have a great time. Let's have a good old knees up. Nutter. A lot of my friends know me as this. <laughs> This is basically just a crazy person and just, yeah, complete and utter crazy. Nutter. You are a right nutter. Blinding, one of my dad's favourite words ever. It's when something is absolutely amazing and great and he just says, what a blinding day. What a great day. What a blinding day. Have a butcher's, another one of my dad's favourite quotes, he says. So this is to have a look at something. You can have a little butcher's at that. Have a little butcher's at that book over there. Have a little butcher's at that cake that I made earlier. It's a good word. Rinsed. So this is when you've used something a lot. If I wear this suit 50 times, which I'm going to, you can say she has absolutely rinsed that suit. <laughs> <laughs> Giving air. This means when you just mug a person off, basically. So if someone's trying to talk to you and you're like, I don't want to talk to you, you give them air and you just walk away. Chung. This means like, really, really, really fit. Like, really good looking person. So, you're out at a club and you see someone, you go, you are chung. Retete, another word for like, etc. So you say, oh, they do that and they do that, retete. I mean, don't fuck, don't hold me to that, okay? A bunch of fires. Say someone gets in a fight and he absolutely ruins the other person. You can be like, 
He gave him a right bunch of fives. Like he absolutely done them over. Koch. This is a lovely word, I love this word. This is like when you're chilling with your friends and you go to the house and you just have a little koch, a little night in with your friends. Let's, do you wanna, should we just go koch tonight? Wazuk. This is a stupid or annoying person. So if you say, oh, they're proper wazuk, they just annoy me so much. I could use this word a lot in my daily sentences. Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching. I hope you learned something, you absolute nutters. That's one of my favourite words from what we learnt today. I'm going to have a good old knees up later. <laughs>